welcome back. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about Open Prompt. Uh, so, um, well, as I told you, an Open Prompt is a prompt which doesn't have conditioning that could limit the outcome of the um, task or whatever the AI software is doing. Um, now, I, as I told you again, um, Open prompts are mostly used when you want to do some brainstorming. So what about we try to do that? So um, generate 20 ideas for YouTube videos. When I do that, this is an uh, open prompt. I don't add any, um, I mean, you know, I don't have any conditioning here. The fact that I added the limit of uh, ideas doesn't make it uh, a condition that changes um, existentially the outcome of the uh, of what ChatGPT is doing right now. All right, so here we have the output. Now I want to generate. prompt a closed prompt it will still be an open prompt um, because it will not shape the entire outcome I mean of course it shapes the outcome each and every single detail shape the will shape the outcome of the uh, what ChatGPT is doing but um, it's not so l much limiting the chatbot so um, I will tell him to prioritize um, novel and um, newer ideas, not novels, but no oh, novel and newer ideas. Uh, so here we go. The first one isn't so.
what the results will be. Aria, Tristian, Wow, Phoenix, Rowan, Astrid, Orion, Altair, Kai, Ember, and Lysandra, Atlas, Talia, Gala. Well, as you can see here, we do get some interesting names, which could be used in a novel. So, this is it pretty much with uh, open prompts and how you can add details to them, but try not to, you know, uh, take the creative process or try not to influence the creative process that much. So, you still leave ChatGPT with um, a lot of creativity and a lot of, you know, uh autonomy in terms of what it can generate so that's it pretty much with this lesson see you in the next one